Hey there guys, Kragen here, aka Major Arshall, uh, back once again with another Let's Play video. And today we're going to be playing a little bit of The Walking Dead. Uh, this is the first season, uh, which in this game actually just came out yesterday I believe on the Xbox One. Uh, the first and second seasons have both came out. I've been wanting to do a Let's Play on this game for a little while now. Um, I did play the first chapter back in the day. <coughs> but apart from that, I can't really remember too much about the game. So let's just get right into this, guys. I'm quickly going to check my settings just before we kick it off. Music is down. That seems fine. I might put... That's fine, that's fine. Gameplay, we do have the subtitles on. I just wanted to make sure this is all saved. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get right into this. Um, minimal, standard... What do, you, what do we do? I don't think it makes a difference for like the achievements or anything. What difficulty I choose this. So I'm just going to go standard. It'll make it a bit easier for me with recording as well, so I don't miss anything. So here we go, we have episode 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, and a special episode, 400 days. So we have 6 episodes all together. <coughs> Which is pretty awesome. So yeah, let's just uh, get right into this guys. I'm guessing a lot of people will already know what this game is about, so <laughs> I won't have to explain it too much, hopefully. But yeah, we'll just let this little cutscene play, so I'll be quiet just now, guys. So here we are, <clears throat> in the back of a police car. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Eh, uh, why do you say that? You know what they say about reckoning, does it really matter? Or just don't talk. I'll, j I'll go Y. I'll maybe try and favour the Y button on this Let's Play. Usually about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? <laughs> I say, yep, I know you didn't. So we can actually have a little look around. We uh, have to look up at the mirror. So let's have a look at the guy, speak to him again. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. So you've got an you opinion. Got an opinion then? <sighs> Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. So I'm a murderer. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. So what, a police car is going past? Wonder why they're going to the city. <coughs> Who knows? Who knows? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. 
could be I did. You know what these women are like? <laughs> uh, look at the radio again. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Oh man. Serious stuff going on back there, there's even helicopters. <clears throat> I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. <laughs> That's nice to know. Then before long he starts kicking. Hey, didn't he turn the radio off? Like Could be important information. Not tell him he's got to stop. Wait, like telling us that a zombie's about to come and munch us. So he stops, <laughs> having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So what did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her <coughs> up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car red and then he says he didn't do it. Wasn't I think he actually believed it <coughs> himself. It goes to show. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing okay. and a bit okay. more hilarious if okay. I do say so. In the wrong. Oh, shit, son. Nice car crash. I have to say this game does look a lot nicer on the, the Xbox One. The graphics are, have improved slightly. So a lot uh, crisper, a lot sharper picture. <coughs> so now we get our first little glimpse of what the world has become. It's the first thing that comes to mind. So now we have control again. Let's have a look at the gun. How did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Could be, could be. I doubt it when there's a big trail of blood following this guy, so Hey! Hey officer! Are you alright? I'm still cut back here. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. <laughs> He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He I like to just uh, keep pressing until it like uses up all the options, because you never know. There could be some like interesting little Easter eggs in there that connect it with the TV show and stuff. Apparently there is easter eggs in this. <coughs> but, I'm not too sure. As, I've only, as I say, I've only played the first chapter, so... Alright, yeah, here we go. Let's, uh, we have to kick the window in, so here we go. Come on, let me out! I need to drag myself out that window. You said it, son. You said it. Oh, I could have pressed Y there, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, might have just said the same thing again. That fall seems a lot smaller than it was in the video. <laughs> okay, so we're out the car. And we can use the left stick to move. Have a I have no idea where I'm actually going here. Oh yeah, we're going around this side. We are going around. Right, we're off. We're on our own. Let's have a little look at the shotgun. Can we pick it up? Looks 
looks empty. Fair enough. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. That's a good point, actually. What's this? Shotgun shell. I'm gonna grab it. Nice. I don't think there's going to be anything over there, so let's just head over to the the cop and have a little look. Officer, God damn! Let's approach him. There we go. Oh, I thought it was a cutscene. <laughs> Keys. I don't know what that little arrow is down the bottom of the screen there, what does that mean? Who knows, let's just take the keys. Okay, unlock. <laughs> and they would have to drop it right in front of his face. If this was any other horror game, that would have been a jump scare. <laughs> Okay, and let's get the other one off. <coughs> Officer! Officer! <laughs> Holy shit! No! What in the hell? Look at him, what look at him. What are you? Get away from me! <laughs> give me the gun, give me the gun. I've already got the shell, so we should be good. No, he drops it. This guy's butterfingers. <laughs> Give me that shell. Oh, it's not going to be a good day for you. Boom! <laughs> Bluey skull pieces. <laughs> he seems so calm about the situation. And there we go, we have just uh, got a 20 point achievement there, so that's pretty cool. Skin's all rotten and he <clears> smells <throat> like shit. What the hell is this? <laughs> are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Well, are you? Punk? What am I doing here? Um. Oh yeah, I have to talk to Clementine. Go on. There's been a shooting. I remember the first time I played that on the 360. That took me a while to find that bit. <laughs> Look at his face. Okay. Oh, hello. We've got some friends coming to join us. <laughs> this guy is like the clumsiest guy ever. Drops the keys, drops the shotgun shell, trips over the zombie. What's coming next? Wait, he's, trying to <laughs> he's trying to pretend to be one of them. Well, as well, looks like anyway. Oh, he's fell again. This guy is hopeless. I'm not believing that they would have had him. Alright, <laughs> walking's a problem for you, but jump out of fence? Oh, that's no problem. <laughs> there we go, so we've escaped our first little horde of zombies. Walkers, Zeds, whatever you want to call them. Gunshots in the distance. That's right, man. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Hello, anybody? I was going to say, why am I so zoomed out? <laughs> Would have been a bit hard to control. No ladder. I'm not 
I'm getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Eh, you old bugger. Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody in there? And one more try. Saw a little girl in the forest. Hell, are you up there? I'm not one of those things. Uh, it's fine. We'll just. What was this? T set. <laughs> Let's have a look at the T set. Teacups with some bourbon, if I could. Hmm. Well, each to their own, I suppose. Though I do like my Jack Daniels, so. <laughs> if you're going to fill it up with that, then go for it. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! I wonder if anybody's home. Anybody home? I wonder if anybody's home. Come on then. Hello? <coughs> Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. <laughs> Doesn't seem like anybody's home. That means it's time to break in with the criminal that we are. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> ah, shit. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Voice does look pretty creepy, like. Little colouring book with a unicorn. <laughs> Bully fruit. Let's have a look at that. It's fake. Damn. Ah, oh, he was hungry. No, he was thirsty. Thirsty. Look at the answer machine last. Blood everywhere. Jesus. 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 God. That kid lived here. We Clementine. This whole neighborhood is that beeping. What the hell? This whole neighborhood is what's that beeping? <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I'm back this way. I'm going to have a listen to the answer machine now. There are three new there. messages. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. You better be. 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please <coughs> let me know that you're safe. Message three. No call back. 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. This 911. We love you. I don't think the police are gonna help. <laughs> Consider now, just go. Well, one of them just died in a car with me, so. <laughs> Daddy? Huh? Oh, we're in the kitchen. Okay, let's have a cup of water. Uh, he was needing that, he was needing that. Uh, you'll, you'll be happy now. Ooh. Wait, is that not? This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. 
Oh, I thought I was summoning in there. <coughs> There's the walkie talkie. Ah. Oh. You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. <laughs> Who's your daddy? So you just ignored me everywhere. Oh! Keepy baby sir, keepy baby sir, keepy baby sir, boom. Of course he's gonna slip. It's the clumsiest guy in the world we're talking about here. Here it comes. The first desolation of a zombie. Give me the hammer. Give me the hammer. Ah! It's over. You try and attack me. Yeah, I think you've done the job there. <laughs> Oh, there we go, there's another achievement. Adventures in hey. babysitting. So, it was the babysitter. Hi there. <laughs> Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want Clementine will remember that. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Get out of here once the sun goes down. Look for help before it gets dark. Well, any zombie movie fan would know night time is not a good idea so we'll go look for help we before it gets dark before it gets dark yeah it's yep, not yep, safe yep, at yep. Night. you chose the safety of daylight stay close to me sure you didn't mess around in a zombie apocalypse <laughs> you take all the safest routes <clears throat> okay, here we go. So we now have the walkie talkie still, which is awesome. Uh, and we're going to head this direction. Oh man, where are you going? I know your knee's a bit sore, but you're walking all over the place. <laughs> I ain't never gone to mama at this rate. Sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> it's hot dish night. Okay, so let's open the gate. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents... I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. She's a smart kid. 
<clears throat> hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Buffer Wait, that was gonna help them if it was a zombie. Don't eat us. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. <laughs> so you've seen them then. You could say that. It's pretty Sean. gruesome. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help <clears> us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Um. Just, just some, some guy. guy. Some guy. Yeah. She's alone. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I. The monsters come out. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Never left her much of a choice there, did we? Okay, so let's push the car. Let's try and escape this street before these zombies come and kill us. I just barreled all into the van, man. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. There we go, we have another achievement. And your charge. We have now reached the farm. Hey, Sean. The I'm classic safe man. house from the Walking Dead I'm TV good. series. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was well, this nice one isn't quite as big as the other one, but see you, Archie. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. <laughs> You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run Good. Bed breakfast. You so hot was your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Back off, old man. Pretty bad there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Thank you very much, Lee. Let's have a look. Miss yeah, Salt. This going to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say <laughs> your name was? Nah, we'll go away. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm we'll tell Herschel him. Green. Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Hey, it was a car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? I'm a town Herschel, my wife's story. Uh, just just out. Uh, out for a drive. <laughs> we hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. <coughs> me a ride. Awful nice. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. 
you and your daughter are welcome to rest there. <clears throat> we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fence. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You can yep. only fortify this. Yep. I agree with him on that one. That doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, this old guy on. needs to get a reality oh, check here. <laughs> there, man. <laughs> uh, I got chased by a couple of dead people. Dead people well, walking. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Way. Well, hey. If it gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets <laughs> in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right then. This old guy. So we're going to spend the night in his barn. With another family, just up there on the, the shelf. It smells like. I know what it smells like. Booty. <laughs> Didn't know I swear to her. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. As oh. if it wasn't bad enough for Eddie's making him pure. Pulling his wee heartstrings there. <laughs> there we go. That was quite an eventful first day. <laughs> I love you, baby. Oh, wait. <laughs> Some foreshadowing going on. So did he kill his wife, maybe? We don't know, we'll never know. Well, we will eventually, <laughs> when we get to that hey, part. Get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your <laughs> daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. <clears throat> We better Fancy. get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. <laughs> Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a d you know? That's a valuable treat lately. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Always do. The word is, way to make it. It's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. <laughs> uh, we'll go maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor. I want to build a fence. Whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Duck. Oh, well, there we go. There's a new character for us. <laughs> we can visit. Okay guys, so we've made it to the farm here, we're on day two, and I think I'm going to end this episode off here, uh, if you did enjoy this little first episode of The Walking Dead, please leave me a little thumbs up, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time, bye for now.